you can repeat please repeat loudly at your place but in the recording there will be a phase difference of 30 seconds it spoils there so don't mind i'll mute you in the rec for the recording sake nama okay i'm saying nama Oh, my God. 
So we have here Gaurav, Arvindangi, Krishna Prabhu, Hare Krishna. This is here from, I think, Bare, you said. We have Dhruval from Bangalore, Himali from Varanasi. Honor 9N. Who is this personality? Honor 9N. Who is having this mobile? Honor. Manjanath Hare Krishna, welcome. Mega Shah, yes, we came to know Hare Krishna. Pusha Mataji, Hare Krishna. Rupa Mataji, yes, from Bahrain, Hare Krishna. Vanita. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes. Honor 9 and yeah, oh, that ma, we can see you, Mataji. We can't hear you. Hare Krishna. Mataji, introduce Hare yourself. Bhumika. Oh, Bhumika. Your all friends are here. Gaurav ah. is here. No, Dhruval is here. Yes. Doing very well. And uh, Rohan Bhujala is here. Did he call you today? No, no Prabhu. He texted me. Okay, good. There was one more girl, no? You were from, I think, which place? Moodbidri. And there is another one from Suratkar. Ah, yes, Prabhu. Ah. Apeksha. Tell her. It's all, ah. Now nobody has an excuse at all. Yes, so in a day we are having four classes, Mataji. Morning six o'clock, eleven o'clock, three o'clock, and the night nine o'clock. You are getting okay, messages, Prabhu. no? Yes, yes, Prabhu. Okay. How's your father? Everybody is okay. Fine, okay. fine, Prabhu. Yeah. And you are, okay, how's Prabhu. your car? Good, Prabhu. Huh? Good, good. good. <laughs> okay. Take care. Please take care. Of all the precautions. Don't play it lightly. Okay. It's a very dangerous disease. Uh, okay. So now let us discuss. Uh, today we are going to do on the sixth chapter. Every day we are discussing uh, chapter wise. This is more of a short study where I am not going to the purpose, giving you a theme of the Bhagavad Gita. So my request to you is that you at other time you can read the chapter. The thorough study is going in the morning six o'clock wherein we are studying two, three verses only every day discussing. And in the night, we do is uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita, which is a very difficult book, but you're studying together in the night. It's a very big group in the night. You can all welcome to join that. Also, it's an international group studying Chaitanya Charitamrita. Here also, we have international people. We have Ar Arvind Angi Prabhu from Gulf. We have Rupa Mataji from Gulf. Okay? And people will join in more. Okay. So today they have not come. Hmm. Our Karkala. Uh... Ah, no, she's uh, the known uh, workers. Whole day she's cleaning a big house there. You have come to their house, huh? She's alone. Huh? She has a lot of work for the cooking, cleaning. That's the problem when you have big house. Okay, so we did. Uh, f uh, f uh, what are the shlokas we finished yesterday? We have to start at which shloka? So the sixth Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Swami Namaste Saraswate Prasharine. Nirvishesha Shunivadi Parshat Deshatarine 
जय ओ श्री कृष्णा चैतन्य प्रभो नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा श्री गौर भक्त वृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम युअर लैपटॉप टू पुट हाइट सर यू बी ओके ठीक है सो हेयर अरेंजमेंट सो वी हैव 11 पीपल हेयर 10 पीपल आल्सो इन माय रूम दिस इज अ सो वी यस्टरडे वी हैड ध्यान योग वी डिड द फर्स्ट पार्ट वाज एडवांसिंग इन अष्टांग योग आरुक्षा टू आरुदा स्टेज वी डिड दैट फर्स्ट टू नाइन श्लोकस and then was 10 to 17 shloka was de dealing about details of ashtang yoga that we did and i told people to remember some shlokas bachu the shlokas from memory 6.6 yes 6.6 krishna prasad yaad nahi hai koi darta hi nahi mere se ha are ya 6.6 What to do, Himali? Brahmacharis here are not scared of me. Huh? I don't know, Prabhu. <laughs> I tell something they should do, no? <laughs> Because Chalo. they have not seen that form of yours. That nurse made a form of yours. Ah, uh, they have not seen, no? <laughs> that has reduced now. As I am aging up, no? It has reduced. Okay. They used to see my nurse when they came in the hostel. Uh, oh, others right. are not there now. Where is Vikas? Vikas, oh. here and yeah, Rohan. Yeah. Rohan is there in the morning every day. Uh, sir, and, Vikas has been assigned a lot of tasks by his manager. So. Oh. Yeah, he is into busy. the designing of the cables, no? So all the calculation and everything. Okay. Whole day he is into that. They sir. make him work a lot, but they pay him one third, है ना? Yes, sir. Keeps gets at least hundred, two hundred calls from his manager every hour, you know. Abba. But I'll ask ask him to join. Hmm. He can join in the night, no problem. Night he joins generally. Yes. Okay. So we did till seventeen shloka yesterday, and the very important shloka. This is all happened. So now we enter the area eighteen to twenty three, perfection stage of ashtanga yoga, various aspects and realization perfection. I am using this book. Uh, you all can see this book, Gita Subodhini. Now Amazon everything is closed. Once it is open, you can. note it this is uh, done by iskon chapati so this helps you in a, if you are taking a class like this structure you don't have to make notes it's all paka paka hai, ready so 18 to 23 perfect stage of ashtanga yoga various aspects and realization of perfection so now let us go through that yes yeah, so now we have rupa mata ji she can read the shlokas and uh, who will read the translation like yesterday himali mata ji you are ready Yes, Prabhu. And then purport, Pushpa Mata Ji, are ready? Like yesterday to read the purport? Yes, Prabhu. So, ठीक. चलो start. यदा विनियतम् चित्तम् आत्मनि एवावतिष्ठते निष्प्रहा सर्वकामे व्यो युक्ताय इति उच्चते तदा. When the yogi, by practice of yoga, disciplines his mental activities and becomes situated in transcendence, devoid of all material desires, he is he is said to have attained yoga. Okay, ah, uh, sorry, no purport, uh, Murthy Mata Ji, because there is no time for that. Okay, ah, uh, devoid of all material desires. This is more study of the translation and the main theme. ठीक है, ah, summary study. So this is devoid of all material desires. That is discipline. we have lot of metal desires let us see what proper says cessation from all metal desires of which sex is the chief again previous shloka also last time yesterday we read proper talked about that and we have to get rid so there is no excuse for anybody in any ashram you cannot say okay i am a brahmachari so i have to be free but i am a grahastha no anybody this is the biggest obstruction for spiritual development the desire has to go because it's basically it's an illusion no it's a bag of stool and urine so why the desire has to say the desire the desire has to go anyway so the propas gives an example of that so why mana krishna there was one person who was telling you no so for not for me i'm planning to get married now you are married you're planning to get married you are unmarried any situation correct illusion is illusion so this is definitely an illusion and spiritual advancement means person is free from this desire 
as a Himali, isn't it true for everybody? Correct? Yes, Guru. Uh, illusion is illusion for anybody in any condition. Gaurav? Yes, sir. Correct? Married or planning to get married or Brahmachari, <laughs> any condition, this is an illusion. Correct? Mm -hmm. When Prabhupada says here, office sex is cheap, doesn't mean that it's only talking about Brahmachari. No. His instruction is for everybody. Okay, for everybody. Yes. Sir. As we advance the spiritual life, actually, we are so much taking pleasure in something higher that this desire vanishes. Okay. Savai mana Krishna padar vindayo vacham si vaykunte gunanu bharnane karor harer mandir marjana deshu chutim chakara achut sadkat ho de mukunda lingale dashane desho tad bhritte gata svashanga sangamam granam chatat that pad saroja saura ve, she matula sarasanam tad arpite, pado hare shetra padano sarpane, she rori she geja padavi vandane, kamam jadasana to kama kamaya, a totum shloka janashayarati. Anybody know this shloka contesta without looking? Himalayan in 2010, I forgot. Now you do you know? 2010 to pichla janam ta, ha? Maybe first two shloka. Shall I close your eyes without do? Okay. And now? Um, mm, uh, what is it? Started survey. Survey. Survey, yeah. Survey mana Krishna padara vindayor vacham sivai kuntha gunanu varnane pado hare shetri. Karor, karor hare. Karor hare shetri. Mandira or Hare Mandira Marjan Adisho. Shutim Shakara Chutas Katho de Mukunda Pingalaya Darshane de Show. Adbritya. Adbritya Gatras Parashena Sangamam Pado Hare Shetre Pada Nusarpane Shiro Rishikesh Pada Bindane Kamam Kamam Dash and Atukama Kamaya. I don't remember after that. Pado, think of Kamam to Dajana to Kam. Yatotama Shloka Jana Sharati. Anybody else has a memory of the Shloka? This is a beautiful Shloka. Arvind Angri Prabhu, do you know this contest? This was. Uh, no, no, Prabhu. No, Hare. Take care. Pushpa Mataji, you didn't remember this one? Yes, but I now don't know contest, Prabhu. I remember this. Ah. Okay. Rupa Mataji? No, Prabhuji. Ah, Mega Mataji, do you remember this? No, sir. Vanita, you should be knowing this. Our uh, that dictionary will know Pallavi. She used to cram shlokas like anything. Anna? In the night she comes, she is my dictionary. Shlokas after shlokas. Anna? Yesterday. She is there now, Vanita. Every day night she is there. Pallavi. Hmm? Okay. Himali Mataji, you know na, this shloka. Do you remember, Mataji? No, Prabhu, I don't remember. Okay. My request is, when you get time, try to remember. This is actually an example. And look at the poetry, so <laughs> pleasing poetry. Savai manaha krishna padara vindayo. So pleasing poetry. You can try to remember how, how to engage uh, so for a devotee, because we are going to engage as a devotee. We put mind at the lotus feet of Krishna. The words, so that's the first thing, because one mind put a lotus, lotus feet of Krishna, then other things will come out. Then words are glorifying the Lord, and the hands are doing cleaning of the temple. From ears we are hearing about the Lord. From we want to we want to live in association of devotees. And look on the lingale darshana. Uh, eyes we see the beautiful form of the Lord. We stay with association of devotees. We smell the we smell the tulsi at the lotus feet of the Lord. Okay, and smell the flowers at the lotus feet of the Lord. Okay, pado hare shetra legs to go to the uh, place of the Lord. Head to bow down to the Lord. And desire, having no desire other than desire of the Lord. So beautiful shloka. So try to remember. It becomes very easy and practical for a person in Krishna consciousness. Transcendental stage is very difficult for impersonalists, for a devotee, very easy. Unless the mind is fixed on the lotus feet of the Lord by constant remembrance. Yes, something you wanted to say? Hare Krishna? Uh, what is the name? Mudubhidri Mataji? Huh? Bhumika Mataji, you raised no, hand Prabhu, by mistake. No, Prabhu. No, by Prabhu. Mistake. Yes, yes, Prabhu. Good, good. Everybody practice raising hands so you can genuinely also raise. 
<laughs> Unless the mind is fixed in the lotus feet of the Lord, where constant remembrance of transcendental engagements are not practical. Okay, so that's what is needed. Archana, engaging all the senses in the service of the Lord. Okay, Archana also means actually honoring. That's a te technical word, praising. The sense of the mind require engagement. That is very important. Simply abnegation will not do. Transcendental engagement of the senses and the mind at the proper state is called Yukta in the Bhagavad Gita. Yes. Okay, is it fine, everybody? This word Yukta has come from the Shloka. I took this word, can you see? Yuktaha, <coughs> well situated in yoga. And Prabhupada gave in Krishna consciousness how easily this can be achieved. Actually, these instructions for Ashtang Yogi, but Bhakti Yoga already, these benefits are included. Everything you get from any yoga, Bhakti Yoga gives it. Yata Deepo Niva Nivas Tasto Yata Deepo Niva Tasto Nobody is repeating. Yatha Deepo Niva Tasto Yatha Deepo Niva Tasto Oh, sorry, sorry. That is for Shri Rupa Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Continue. Yatha Deepo Niva Tasto Nigate Saupa Masmrita Yogi no Yata Chittasya Yunchato Yoga Matmanaha Mali Mataji. I'm not seeing the translation, Prabhu, yes. As a limp in, lamp in a windless place does not waver, so the transcendentalist whose mind is controlled remains always steady in his meditation on the transcendent self. Okay, so this section 18 to 23 is describing the perfection stage of Ashtanga Yoga. So his mind becomes, uh, mind is controlled, remains steady in meditation on the transcendental self. Just like a lamp, very good example, lamp in a windless place looks so steady. And so the mind of a transcendent has also become steady. So you can also see, point is that we are having a very powerful process, but this should be, this result should be there. The mind should be steady. Correct? No, the mind is restless. We can't study for 10 minutes. Anna. Sometimes we should introspect. I am having the most powerful process. Itana shakti shali tarika mirpas hai. Chatar Mahapuru ka kripa hai. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare. Ham to nahi kar rahe bhai. Ashtangogi ye sab tarika karte hai. So, as a case of Sakta, you have to do a two mile. You have to do a two mile. So, we should think about it in that way. That whatever is there, they're getting, I also should get more. If not, chant nicely and the process is powerful. A truly Krishna conscious, always absorbed and transcendent, constant, undisturbed meditation on his worshipful Lord is as steady as a lamp in a windless place. Prabhupada said Krishna consciousness benefit is already included. See, he's not talking about Ashtanga Yogi at all. <laughs> he is not interested. He knows it's not practical in Kaluga. So he's saying, anyway, Krishna consciousness, this is there. This is Krishna conscious coming to you on Ashtanga Yoga. Yes, Mataji, long shlokas, be ready. 20 to 23. Three shlokas, four shlokas. Okay. Yatro paramate chittam nirudham yoga sevaya. Yatra Chaivatman Atmanam Vashyam Atmanitushyati Sukham Atyantikam Yathat Buddhikrahyam Atindriyam Vekti Yatra Na Chaivayam Stitas Charati Tattvataha Yamla Badvacha Param Labham Manyate Nadikam Tata Yasmin Stitona Dukkena Guru Napi Vichalyate Tam Vidya Dukkasam Yoga Vidhi Yogam Yoga Sangyutam Thank you, Mataji. Very good pronunciation. Everything perfect. Yes, Himali Mataji, are you able to see the translation? Yes, Prabhu. The stage of perfection is called trance or samadhi. When one's mind is completely restrained from material mental activities, the practice of yoga. This is characterized by one's ability to see the self by the pure mind and to relish and rejoice in the self. In that joyous state, one is situated in boundless transcendental happiness and enjoys himself through transcendental senses. Established thus, one never departs from the truth and upon gaining this, he thinks there is no greater gain. Being situated in such a position. 
Mm-hmm. Being situated in such a position, one is never shaken, even in the midst of greatest difficulty. This indeed is actual freedom from all miseries arising from material contact. ठीक है. Mind is completely restrained from material mental activity. The practice. This is actually when we read this, we get shocked. It's a very beautiful combination of shlokas from our mind, Hana, right? isn't it? In any class and all, you put it up on the notice board. People get really attracted. This is the perfection stage, Hana. Right? The mind, mental activity, the practice of yoga. By one's ability to see the self by pure mind. Are you notes? Notes? Lene ka? Ah, likte underline karne ka, mark karne ka. Ah. कुछ लिखते रहने का एक हैबिट डालो सब लोग इंपॉर्टेंट मार्क मार्क हम तो पूरा किताब भर देते थे क्लास है ना व्हाट यू से आई टू फिल ऑल बुक राइट राइट क्लास यूज टू बी देयर मेक नोट्स मार्क अंडरलाइन इंपॉर्टेंट यूज टू डू नॉट एट लीस्ट द स्पीकर इज इनकरेज नॉट कॉलेजेस डिक्टेशन दे फोर्स एम टू राइट बट नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट जरूर लिखने का कोई अच्छा पॉइंट था अभी नहीं ऐसे नहीं जबरदस्त लिखो और ध्यान से सुन रहे हैं कोई अच्छा पॉइंट हो जरूर लिखने का एक हैबिट डालने का लिखने से क्या होता है वो चीज पूरे दिल के अंदर चला जाता है राइट दैट थिंग बिकम्स वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इन दर्ट वेन यू हियरिंग ऑटोमेटिकलोका सिक्वेंस एक्चुअली इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल सो वेन यू आर प्रेजेंटिंग जस्ट पुट ऑफ दिस पीपल आर वेरी अट्रैक्टेड क्वेश्चन कॉन्शियसनेस कंप्लीट बाय प्रैक्टिस योर एबिलिटी सी द सेल बाय द प्योर माई रिलेशन रिजॉइस इन द सेल्फ The joyous state of situation, boundless transcendental happiness. Listen, के ही खुशी होता है, है ना? और वहाँ पहुँचने का भी boundless transcendental मतलब गिन नहीं. You cannot even imagine so much spiritual happiness is there. अभी क्या है material happiness के पीछे भाग रहे हैं कुत्ते बिल्ली की तरह, है ना? तो spiritual happiness का experience आएगा ना पागल हो जाएंगे. So what is saying? Boundless transcendental. Enjoy themselves to transcendental sense. Establish us for never depart from truth. And upon gaining, and actually spiritual life में In practice of spiritual life, here and there we do get some happiness here and there. Sometimes in sometimes in kirtan, sometimes in we are reading, sometimes in taking darshan of the deities, है ना? Sometimes in japa, sometimes in prasadam. And that उसको दिल में रहता है इकट्ठा. उसके वजह से जिंदगी चल रहा है, है ना? क्या रहेगा? विश्वास बन जाता है, you know? One 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 collect collect collect, है ना? दिल में विश्वास बन जाता है एंड वी वी गेट एनर्जेटिक एंड दिस इज टेक टू सर कृष्णा बट आल्सो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन आवर सिंसियरिटी बिकॉज़ व्हाई विल कृष्णा रेसिप्रोकेट व्हेन यू आर नॉट सिंसियर दिस इज एक्चुअली कृष्णा एंड यू नो इट इज नॉट मटेरियल भक्ति परेशान अनुभव जब असली में भक्ति करते हैं तो परेशान अनुभव जरूर आता है परेशान अनुभव मतलब सम स्पिरिचुअल एक्सपीरियंस आता है इतना खुशी कैसे सो मच हैप्पीनेस है ना एक दिल में रखता उसके जो विश्वास बनता है विश्वास बढ़ता रहता है देन यू पुट मोर इन्वेस्ट मोर फेथ इन कृष्णा देन कृष्णा रेस्प्रोकेट्स मोर देन इट गोज ऑन एक्सप्लोडिंग एक्सपोनेंशियल जैसे आपका अभी ये क्या क्या चल रहा है कोरोना का एक्सपोनेंशियल चल रहा है ना ऐसा है सो स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ कैन ऑल्सो एक्सपोनेंशियल यू चैट वेरी नाइसली देन यू गेट सो मच हैप्पीनेस देन नेक्स्ट डे यू चैट अरे एवरी वर्ड देन यू गेट एक्सपोनेंशियल ग्रोथ कैन हैपन लाइक कोरोना वायरस Situated in bounded transcendental happiness and enjoys himself through the transcendental senses, established as one never departs from the beginning. No greater gain, no greater gain. दुनिया का कुछ भी ले आओ, we are not interested. इससे कुछ है ही नहीं ज़्यादा अच्छी चीज़ है ना? Confidence होना चाहिए. नहीं तो कोई हाँ interesting ना, है ना? As a person takes, you know, हमारा आश्रम ही होता. वो क्यों भी होता है? इससे अच्छा कुछ है ही नहीं, है ना? There is nothing higher than Krishna consciousness. Being situated in such a position, one is never shaken, even in the midst of greatest difficulty. The most difficult thing may be, person is not shaken. It is indeed actual freedom from all miseries arising of material contact. Okay, so this is fantastic shloka. Okay, this is eighteen to. Uh, we are now entering twenty. Yeah, yeah, eighteen to twenty-three shloka. Proper the some marks on the purport. By practice of yoga, one become gradually detached from material concepts. Prabhupada uses the word material concepts many, many times because spiritual concepts are different. I am a servant of Krishna. Material concept, I am so many things. Om Sahasri Amitini Bhava Meetat Tayo Mitho Hriday Ganti Ahu Ata Griya Shetu Sota Apte Bitte Jana Se Boham Amar Meeti. We put so many uh, excuses to enjoy this world. There's all material concepts. See, everybody feels he is in a prestigious position. Sab aadmi, and in that position he'll make so many excuses, hai na? 
मैं ये कर रहा हूँ इसलिए कर रहा हूँ ये नहीं मैं क्या किधर लग गया मैं ये कोई नहीं बोलता Patanjali system yoga is more or less based on the principle of Patanjali yoga system, and then Prabhu says going to the Patanjali yoga system, there's an acceptance mm -hmm. of transcendental pleasure in the Patanjali system. There is, but then how do you explain this pleasure in the Patanjali system? Because they are <coughs> duality of the knowledge and the knower is there, so it's not so impersonalist like the other part. Purushartha means material religiosity, economic development, sense gratification. At the end, becoming one of the supreme. This is called Purushartha. Then there is the concept of kaivalyam, but kaivalyam is an internal transcendental potency by which living entity become aware of his constitution position. Some bit analysis of Patanjali yoga system and Prabhupada says there is a recognition of transcendental pleasure in that. So Prabhupada goes back to Krishna consciousness, cheto darpana marjana, bahama dava gnirvapana. This is our process. Sarupena vivasiti. Bhakti means to come back to your original position. Liberation from this metal infection. Does not mean destruction of the original eternal position of the living entity. Okay, <coughs> so a living entity is the eternal position servant of Krishna. He is eternally individual and is an independent individual entity in one sense. He is an individual. This individual cannot be destroyed because generally in Patanjali yoga system they want to merge into the Paramatma. That is their uh, misfortune. So Prabhupada then takes off, cuts off from Patanjali, saying liberation material infection doesn't mean. Destruction original element of the living entity. Kaivalyam sarupena pratishta va chitta shakti hi. Bhakti yoga we will describe in the seventh chapter of the Bhagavad Gita as we will begin. Sampragna samadhi, asampragna samadhi. There are two kinds of samadhi. Okay, this all. Okay, leave it. We are not so interested. Unless a yogi is able to read this position, he's on sex. Yogi indulging in sex and intoxication is a mockery. Yeah, we are very interested in this life. Yogi is interested in sex and intoxication is a mockery. As long as the metal body exists, one has to meet the demands of the body, namely eating, sleeping, depending on mating. But person who is the pure bhakti or Krishna consciousness does not arouse the senses by meeting the demands of the body. Take a minimum. But I think some of you got interested. What is the sampragna? The sampragna. Yes, I wanted to ask this. What is this sampragna? Ah, वो ऐसा है ना तो ऐसे शब्द देखते हैं क्या है ना वो ज्ञान योग है ना है ना थोड़े लोगों को इम्प्रेस करने के लिए सीख लो. Is there no utility in Krishna consciousness? It is the words of astang yoga. Words jagli or astang yoga. चलो देख लेते हैं क्या. Prabhupada mentioned, so let us understand. Sampragna, sampragna. चलो. One one becomes situated in transcendent position. Very philosophical research. It is called sampragna samadhi. In hmm. asampragna samadhi, one is no longer any connection to mundane pleasure, for one transcends to all sorts of help and divide from the senses. We should so, be in the asampragna. So, by various philosophical speculation, means jnana, and then other one looks vijnana. Okay, jnana means you have by your philosophical speculations and understanding neti neti neti, you have become situated in the transcendental pleasure. Okay, na? And in asampragna, there is now no any connection to the mundane pleasure. Okay, so this looks to be more realized. Asampragna, sampragna, asampragna. Okay, so Gaurav, now do Google research and tell us more about it because you opened the topic. Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay, so we, I will continue with this because it looks like little hanging. That's why I left it, but you wanted us to understand. But we partly understood. Proper, they are not focused on it. Just mentioned, by the way. Okay, bear, the devotee is focused. Krishna does not arouse his meeting. Rather, he accepts the bare necessities of life, making the best use of the bad bargain, and enjoys transcendental happiness in Krishna consciousness. Gaurav, you are working on it. Yes, sir. Yeah, do that. Do that. I'll come back within five ten minutes and give us clarity. But he is always alert to execute his duty in Krishna consciousness of bhakti yoga. Okay. So accident, diseases. Now people are so much worked up, scarcity. The devotee is not so much disturbed by that. But in duties of Krishna conscious, always alert. That he puts his heart. In material duties, it is said disinterested, obligatory duty. That has to be our process, and you will be very happy. We don't put your heart because it is not fit to put our heart. But you have to do it as a means of livelihood. But for Krishna, put your heart there. He endures all such incidental accidents, occurrences because he knows they come and go and do not affect his duties. So today the people, whole world is worked up about COVID, 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 huh? So he knows this comes and goes. Okay, 
but not 10 days, 15 days, two months, it will come and go. Matra Spasha Sta Kote Sitoshna Sukha Dukada Agama Paino Nitya Samsa Sikshu Bhavata. Tolerate some inconvenience, but it will come and go. And use that situation for just like Grahad. What happens in the Grahad time? Nobody can go out. For a same, what do we do? We sit and keep. This is Grahad, some you can take one month ka Grahad. And so we have to keep ourselves engaged. Okay, anybody, other, any other comment? Himali Mataji, Manjanath, Mega, Rupa, any Mataji, any comment? No, Prabhu, it's clear. No, Prabhuji. Gaurav, did you get Sampragna, Sampragna? Yes, sir, I got it in some Mayavadi website. Okay, there, that's what, and then you'll have Mayavadi Bhasha, where Sarvanash Chalo. So we wish best for you, we're continuing, huh? <laughs> Just post it. Sir Nishchai, uh, Mataji, yes. Sir Nishchaiena Yogta Vyo Yogo Nirvinna Chetasa Sankalpa Prabhavan Kamam Stiyatva Sarvana Sheshataha Manas Saivendriya Gramam Viniyam Yasa Mantata Yes, Himali Mataji. One should engage oneself in the practice of yoga with undeviating determination and faith. One should abandon without exception all material desires born of false ego and thus control all the senses on all sides by the mind. So this is similar. The same principle can be used for a bhakti yoga yoga also. Undeviating determination, usa, nishya, dhairya. All material desires born of false ego. Because material desires come from ahankara only. Right? Because real ego is, I am a servant of Krishna. When the soul is purified, it falls at the lotus feet of the Lord. Nitya Siddha Krishna Bhakta Sadhu Kabanaya is always eternally servant of Krishna, the soul. Only in a slumber, in stupidness, it develops false ego. Correct? Once it is purified, uh, the, once the you know, mind is pure, rather, the soul awakens. And once the soul awakens, it looks for its Lord. Because soul is actually having an appetite, it's hankering to serve the Lord. That's the natural nature of the soul. So it awakens in his original ego and control all the senses on all sides by the mind. Yeah. So yoga practitioners should be determined without patient and should patiently persecute practice without deviation. Patiently, without deviation. One should assure of success at the end of the and pursue this course with great perseverance, not becoming discouraged if there is any delay in the attainment of success. Any delay. Take care. Success is sure for the rigid practitioner. Success is sure for a rigid practitioner. Guarantee it. Prabhupada Ji ka ashirvad hai. And Rupa Goswami ka agya shloka hai. Ussa nishaya dheriya tattat karma pravartana sangatyaga satovriti shadvi bhakti prasidhyati As for determination, one should follow the example of Sparrow who lost her eggs in the waves of the ocean. Similarly, the practice of yoga, especially Bhakti Yoga and Krishna consciousness, may appear to be a very difficult job. But if anyone follows the principle of great determination, the Lord will surely help. For God help those who help themselves. Okay. Anybody know the example of the sparrow? Himali Mataji, do you know the example of the sparrow and the eggs? Yes, Prabhu. Now you explain. Uh, there was a sparrow who laid the eggs on the uh, banks of an ocean. So, with the waves, the eggs, uh, eggs got uh, taken away. So, uh, when the sparrow returned, she became very sad and she decided to uh, bring her eggs back. So, uh, she asked, she prayed to the ocean many times to return, but uh, uh, her prayers were not heard. So she decided to uh, drive ocean. Uh, so in her little beak, she was taking the uh, small, little, little water and putting it away. And uh, then Garuda happened to see her and asked her uh, why she is doing that. Then she narrated the whole story. Then Garuda felt uh, pity for uh, that little sparrow. And then Gar Garuda... Uh, told the ocean to return the eggs, otherwise he will himself take up the work of the sparrow to um, dry up the ocean. So the ocean then uh, became frightened and he returned the eggs. Yes. And so Hare Krishna, Rahul Bhatji, Hare Krishna, welcome. Hare Krishna. 
Uh, you are muted. You know Rahul, what is your friend? Hare Krishna Rahul, welcome, you are welcome. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, you can introduce yourself. I am Rahul. Huh? What is that? Uh, you are Rahul, but uh, you are yeah. uh, where? You are studying, working? Srinivas Institute of Technology. Oh, Malapur. so you have seen me sometimes, huh? Yes, yes. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Nice to join us. Okay, we are discussing Rahul, the sixth chapter of Bhagavad Gita. We are going through the verses. Huh? Most of the people yes. here are all uh, are known to me. They are all devotees, wonderful devotees. So together we are reading this sixth chapter. This is a, uh, we are doing four times in a day. This is at three o'clock session, which you have joined. You have joined early for the next session. <laughs> okay, we started one hour ago. Okay, you are getting messages every day? Yes, yes. Okay, do try to join. Okay, welcome. You're always welcome. Try to understand, you will get the picture. Now, yes. the whole incidents being discussed, Rahul, here is the once a sparrow lost the eggs to the ocean and uh, she was, you know, in a very difficulty and she made a determination. She asked, requested ocean to give me eggs. So, ocean, wow, oh, does it, you know, but there is ocean personified who responded to Lord Rama. You know that? Uh, Lord Rama looked at the ocean with great anger. What happened? What is Hanuman Jayanti? Yes. Yesterday was Hanuman Yesterday. Jayanti. Right. Yesterday, Prabhu. Yesterday. So, what happened when Lord Rama looked at the ocean with great anger? The ocean started shaking just by the sight. And then the ocean personified came. Correct? So, any request to Lord Rama to make a bridge. Otherwise, if you want, I can give way. He said, okay, we'll make a bridge. So now, anyway, the point is that she requested Ocean personified, please help me. But Ocean did not care and she was crying. She said, okay, I'll empty you out now so that I get my ex. Now, how can a sparrow or empty an ocean? She tried. But so drop by drop, she was taking the water out. And the news spread. And the Garuda came to know my sister bird is so much difficulty. She is in pain. She has lost her children and I should help her. So he came there. So he asked the Ocean. What is going on? Should I try to empty you? So Ocean got frightened because Garuda is a very powerful word. Carrier of Vishnu can do anything. Okay, you got the message? You are able yes, to understand, yes. Rahul. So then, yes. how did the girl, beg, uh, the, the, the sparrow get the eggs? Not by her own strength. She got it by the mercy of Garuda. Is that clear? Okay. Yes, yes. But, but her effort counted or not? Yes. So yes. God helped those who help themselves. Yes. You got the point? Okay, so yes. when it's basically controlling the senses, it is very difficult. Senses get easily agitated. But no, when you are sincere, Krishna gives mercy. Then you can control the senses. Not that you can, anybody can control the senses. Senses are like wildfire. It is very difficult to keep it cool. Correct? But when we are sincere, definitely Krishna will give help. So God help those who help themselves. Yes. Not that I am watching move, three movies in a day, my mind is agitated. Then who can help you? Nobody can help you. Isn't it? Rahul, is it yes, correct? Yes. So what happened? College is closed or they are doing online classes? Online classes. Going on? Yes, going on. Okay. They will have online sectional exam also? No, I'm, <laughs> they didn't inform anything about exam. Oh, there's, there's a lockdown is not ending. Yeah. And ITK and all, they have closed the college for two months. So summer vacation, they're going to have the college. But we do, uh, I think, that they don't want to wait because they will have to pay more. Yes. They want, uh, so they are very, they somehow will finish the semester. They can give automatic promotion and leave it. No, why bug people so much? Right? Yes, but they won't do. <laughs> Simply they are disturbing teachers and disturbing students. <laughs> Sir, this uh, huh? Sampragyata and Asampragyata, the way they have written it has given me headaches. Sir. Yeah, that's why I said, why did you ask me? I told you better not study that. <laughs> okay, leave, it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. We are not interested. Chalo. You are interested. <laughs> now you bug your head. Okay. Chalo, Mataji, continue. Senai, Senai, Uruparame, Putya, Driti, Grihitaya, Atma, Samstamana, Kritva, Natans, Chit, Api, Chintaye. Gradually, step by step, with full conviction, one should become situated in trance by means of intelligence and thus the mind should be fixed on the self alone and should think of nothing else. 
Yeah, these are all, you know, talking about the perfection and but are beautiful shlokas because this is for bhakti yoga also. Gradually, shanai, shanai. It's not in one moment you'll become perfect. Shanai, shanai. Anna? Suppose koi addiction hai. Ek din mein nahi, wo cheez man se bahar nikalegi. Shanai, shanai, gradually. Yeah? Step by step, with full conversion, because trans means intelligence. Use your intelligence. Sometimes you have to use philosophy and intelligence. And intelligence means uh, your philosophy. Philosophy is part of intelligence. You have to control the mind because mind, the nature is attachment and detachment. Hana? Mind nature is attachment and detachment. So we have to use philosophy to handle the mind. And the mind intelligence has to come to control the mind. So philosophy, we develop philosophy and we try to understand the overall situation. Control. And the mind should be fixed on the self alone, should not think of anything else. <coughs> By proper conviction intelligence, one should gradually cease sense activities. Conviction intelligence. This is called pratyahar. Okay. Actually, Ashtanga Yoga, eight stages can be divided into different shokas. If somebody can do that, it will be fantastic. <coughs> pratyahar. Engage in mental conception of life. In other words, all the one is involved in matter, as long as the mental body exists, one should not think about sense gratification. One should think no pleasure aside from the pleasure of the Supreme Self. Prabhupada says, actually, we should become accustomed to this. This should be the level of training. We should become accustomed to this. Matlab, ye hamari adat ho jane chahiye. Kya? Krishna ke sukh mein hi mera sukh hai. Indira Bhog ka sukh, I don't say it as happiness. Aisi adat ho jane chahiye. Take a training of the mind. Kya se? Gradually. Dheere dheere. Adhani, ek din mein ho gaya. Shuddha bhakt ban gaya. Raat ko swaya, subha ote shuddha bhakt hai. Ye nahi ho ga. Okay? So we have to practice this. Actually, kya hai na? Jaysay body ka exercise hota hai. The mental exercise, spiritual exercise. Krishna! Krishna! And more, not only loudly, from the heart you call out, he will come in the front. He will come. You can see him. But we cannot call with love. Hai na? Draupati called, he came. You can also call Govinda. Nothing happens. Something definitely happens because we, we have taken shelter of his servant. But still, we are not able to call with love. One should think of no pleasure aside from the pleasure which is just practice gradually. Dhire, dhire, dhire. So spiritual muscles are getting ready. Mental muscles are getting ready. No, no, no. And easily you can throw. Yes, we proceed. Rahul, samaj aa hai? Yes, yes. Ah, good. Very nice. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, Rahul, my request is be a little patient because kya na thoda ye naya hai aapke liye. Hai na? Ye dusra department yeah. jaise ये देखो जैसे आपको इंग्लिश आती है तो इसका मतलब आपको फिजिक्स थोड़ी आती है है ना साइंस सो ये भी क्या है मेरे को संस्कृत आती है इंग्लिश आती है गीता समझ आ जाएगी नहीं नहीं ये दूसरा साइंस है पर थोड़ा पेशेंस चाहिए लोग थोड़ा मतलब मतलब जल्दीबाजी करते हैं थोड़ा आप दो तीन दिन अगर आप इसको सुनेंगे ना आपको धीरे धीरे समझ आ जाएगा हाँ मेन पॉइंट समझ आ जाएगा डिटेल बट मेन पॉइंट आपको बट कृष्णा इज ट्राइंग टू से आपको थोड़ा पेशेंस थोड़ा रखना पड़ेगा लोग कहते हैं नहीं पांच मिनट में पांच मिनट में तो इंजीनियरिंग भी नहीं होती चार साल और, और कृष्णा को समझाओ सर दो मिनट में ऐसा यार ये क्या सब नहीं होता है ये तो सबसे मुश्किल सब देखते हैं ना बहुत मुश्किल बट आइडिया लग जाएगा इफ यू आर सिंसियर इफ यू आर सीरियर यू गेट आइडिया ठीक है ओके एंड कृष्णा इज वेरी प्लीज जैसे कृष्णा हमको भगवदगीता क्या कृष्णा का लव लेटर है है ना बेटे घर आ जाओ दीता इज बट देन वी डोंट रीड द लेटर उसको एक मंदिर में रख के उसकी आरती करते रहते हैं यार ये हमारा नहीं ये इसके अलावा लोग क्या करते हैं घर में गीता किसके घर में नहीं है सबके घर में गीता है हाँ कहा है मंदिर में रखिए क्या होता है हर दिन उसका एक आरती होता है बस पढ़ता कोई नहीं है है ना तो जब आप अपने आप बुद्धि लगाते हैं भगवान के इंस्ट्रक्शन को चिट्ठी को समझने के लिए कृष्णा इज वेरी प्लीज है ना इज इट प्लीज और नॉट देन यू आर वर्शिपिंग कृष्ण बाई योर इंटेलिजेंस दैट इज ऑल्सो शुड बी डन एक ऐसा आरती भी अपनी बुद्धि से भी भगवान की पूजा होनी चाहिए तो जैसे आप उनके श्लोक पढ़ेंगे समझेंगे देखो एक एक शब्द हमारे भले के लिए सच ए ब्यूटीफुल लेटर इट इज वन एवरी वर्ड इज फॉर योर गुड और उस चिट्ठी को हम नहीं पढ़ते हम मोबाइल में देखते हैं मैसेज आए क्या मैसेज आए हर देखते देखते ना दो मिनट में है ना देखते हैं हंड्रेड परसेंट एक भी मैसेज आपके भले के लिए नहीं है कोई मैसेज है नहीं क्या खाया क्या सोया सब सब बकवास है ना उधर वो मरा ठीक है उसमें क्या न्यूज है वो मर रहे लोग पता है बस But then this letter from Krishna, every word is for my good. But I don't want to read it. It's my misfortune. Correct? Mera hi durbhagya ki mere chitti ko nahi pota. So by fortune, in association, we are opening the letter of Krishna. Okay? We read it. Yes, Mata Ji. 
किस कॉलेज में किस वहां पर पुशिंग गेट बेटर मार्क्स गेटर मारे बाबा आई एम नॉट एबल टू कॉन्सेंट हाउ लाइक गेट बेटर मार्क्स बट दंडे मारते रहेंगे गिव मी बेटर मार्क्स अरे बाबा वॉट माई कंडीशन टीच मी हाउ टू कंट्रोल द माइंड कोई कोर्स है क्या आपके कॉलेज में कोई कोर्स है माइंड कंट्रोल है ना नहीं नहीं चिल्लाते रहेंगे बेटर मार्क्स बेटर मार्क्स टीचर व्हाई यू नॉट स्टडी अरे बाबा आई एम अ ह्यूमन बीइंग ये ये कि मन है यो पदर भी मन पढ़ने नहीं दे रहा कुछ उसके लिए बताओ नहीं द नाइदर पेरेंट नाइदर टीचर नोबडी इज बॉदर्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड द रियल सिचुएशन ही इज अ 18 ईयर ओल्ड बॉय 19 ईयर ओल्ड बॉय माइंड इज एजिटेटेड नाउ करेक्ट टीच इन सम कोर्स टू कीप हिज माइंड पे नोबडी विल डू इट दे आर नॉट बॉदर्ड है ना है ना इज इट इट And yes, yes. Label, put a label on that person. He be a good boy, a good driver. Then gone. After that, it's over. He loses all self-confidence. And after that, the nature of the mind is flickering and unsteady. But a self-realized yogi has to control the mind, and mind should not. Ah, uh, Murti Mata Ji, you can read this whole purport. Yes, Guru. Nature yeah. of the mind flickering and unsteady. But a self-realized yogi has to control the mind. The mind should not control him. Let's prove that. Continue, continue. You read the whole paragraph. A Goswami was no, standard no, no, no. of. No, no, no. No, read the whole thing. One who controls oh, the mind. One who controls the mind and therefore the senses as well is called Goswami or Swami. And one who is controlled by the mind is called Bodhasa or a servant of the senses. A Goswami knows the standard of sense happiness. In the transcendental sense happiness, the senses are engaged in the senses of Rishikesha or the supreme owner of the senses, Krishna. Serving Krishna with purified senses is called Krishna consciousness. That is why this uh, that is the way of bringing the senses under the control. What is more, that, that is, is the high perfection of yoga practice. Yes, so Goswami knows the standard of sense happiness. He knows. इसका क्या वैल्यू है ही नोस आ गया फिर से बिकॉज़ माइंड इज माया इज ओनली दिस थिंग ईटिंग स्लीपिंग वेटिंग डिफेंडिंग ना दैट्स ऑल इट विल ब्रिंग सम डिसऑर्गेनाइज्ड वे ऑफ डूइंग दैट वी हैव टू ईट वी हैव टू स्लीप बट इट विल गिव यू सम सिंफुल वे ऑफ डूइंग दैट सो व्हाट इज इट डूइंग गोस्वामी नो द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ सेंस हैपन ही हैज नो ही हैज टोटली मतलब इससे मैं खुश नहीं होने वाला इज कन्विंस्ड है ना ही नोस द स्टैंडर्ड दैट्स व्हाई इट्स कॉल्ड गोस्वामी बट वी आर गोदास servant of the senses so you want to become uh, rahul you want to become goswami or godas goswami hmm goswami good good so we'll continue if you say godas then we have to stop <laughs> okay so we have to become goswami so in association as an a sang most important thing rahul is sang if you have a good association your mind will become controlled Association is not good. What is you know general friends? What they do? How horrible the association they get. Correct? They only talk yes. about movie. They only talk about girls. They only talk bad things. And in that association, the mind becomes very weak. Actually, है ना? True. Yes, yes. Ah, yeah, true. True. So therefore, we have to live with the friend. That's part of it. But sometimes we should have association of the shastra. In association, very easy to read. Now, if you alone, you'll not be able to read also this part. But together in company, we can read and we can understand. This is good. I have to control. Yes. So you get inspiration, you get strength, encouragement. Then your life changes. One line, the whole life can change. That's the power of Gita. One line of Gita can change a life, save a person. Correct. But then he has to take in the proper spirit and you know, make it. Not that we simply hear. We should make it part of our system. Okay. Accept it. It is for my good if I control the mind. The mind should not control me. Correct. It's embarrassing. Yes. I don't have a strength for that. Strength comes in good company, just like daru ke log ekatte hote hain. Kya karte hain? But sab daru baaj ban jate hain, na? Mm. Similarly, together when we read Bhagavad Gita, we also become strong. Okay, yes, Mataji, twenty-seven. Question: 
ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ ಮನಸಂ ಹೀನಂ ಲೋಕಿನಂ ಸುಖಮುತ್ತಮ ಉಪೈತಿ ಸಾಂತರಜಸ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಭೂತಂ ಅಕಲ್ಮಶಂ the yogi whose mind is fixed on me verily attains the highest happiness by virtue of his identity with brahman he is liberated his mind is peaceful his passions are quieted and he is freed from sin see that so this is a simple formula you put your mind on krishna you'll become happy you put your mind on maya you'll be sad so just think you're happy or sad agar ro rahe matlab galat jagah mat lagawa agar haas rahe matlab theek jagah mat lagawa Krishna has not made us to cry. Krishna has made us to be. Krishna, I am going. Krishna made us to be happy, or Krishna made us to become sad. Happy. Krishna is always happy. We put a mind on Krishna. Krishna is full of happiness. You become very happy, and you forget Krishna. You become sad. So sadness means Maya. Correct. Attains the highest perfection of virtue. Identity is Brahman. Is liberated. Mind is peaceful. Is passion is quiet, and is freed from sin. one cannot remain in quality of brahman the absolute unless one mind is fixed on the lotus feet of the lord to be always engaged in transcendent loving service of the lord or to remain in krishna consciousness is to be factually liberated from mode of passion and all material contamination one cannot remain in the quality of brahman the absolute unless one mind is fixed on the lotus feet of the lord so vai mana krishna padara vindyo a small purport somebody can read Hare Krishna Mega Mata ji Hare Krishna sir ah uh, would you like to read this purport brahma bhuta yeah uh, sure the, the whole thing yeah, yeah. sure uh, brahma bhuta is the state of being free from material con- contamination and situated in the transcendental uh, service of the lord uh, mad bhaktim labate param one cannot remain in the quality of brahman brahman the absolute uh, until one's mind is fixed on the lotus feet of the lord sa vai mana krishna padara vindayo to be always engaged in the transcendental loving service of the lord or to remain in krishna consciousness is to be factually liberated from the mode of passion and all material contamination okay this is beautiful okay so prabodh has actually uh, he has summarized the things uh, you know i had gone to kumbh mela so there are so many naga babas there you heard about them very popular and many babas they are smoking ganja there in this in a winter time temperature is 2 degree and they smoke ganja so they are ganja bhuta not brahma bhuta hmm what is spiritual a normal man is better from that consciousness ha eh? they call them as brahma bhuta taking intoxication cigarette bhuta liquor bhuta ganja bhuta hmm? so they take many t- people take drugs and think their hallucination is spiritual life no it's not spiritual life that's very abominable a normal person is better than that so we should not cheat in this process so brahma bhuta is actually free from material contamination as situated in the transcendental service of the lord that is brahma bhuta brahma bhuta prasanna atma na shochati na kanshati sama sarvet bhuteshu mad bhakti labate param devo proper is quoted this verse theek okay? and you cannot be fixed on brahman unless you are fixed on the lord's feet of krishna why anada shloka patanti yada anadati yusma dangra ye arvindaksha vimukta manina ha those who reach the brahman platform but ignore to fix the mind of the lord's feet of krishna patanti yada they fall down if a proper this combine this two shloka fantastic any questions till now we can continue yes sir ah the bahu the mulpidri mata ji megana bhumika 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 understood oh you change your name good <laughs> because every moment i am asking who is this mulpidri mata ji junja <laughs> nevam yes mata ji ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ 
steady yes. in the self being freed from all material contamination the yogi achieves the highest perfectional stage of happiness in touch with the supreme consciousness so you become happy in touch with krishna who is the sunita mata ji entering now where is the print out kana this is what sunita mata ji you can see i don't know okay study from the self metal ka yogi achieves the ha uh, i don't know and now she is there is more merciful we'll continue she there ha huh? almost up to time up otherwise i have to take two three you can call her now yeah ask her if she is trying to join if that sunita mata ji we don't know which sunita call her okay the people struggle that one button that you know uh, what's the join uh, through the device audio otherwise they get stuck up ठीक है इन टच विद सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन मेकिंग वन कॉन्स्टेंट शिप आ मेघना माता जी यू कैन रीड यस सर सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन मींस फ्रॉम सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन मींस नोइंग वंस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोजीशन इन रिलेशनशिप टू द सुप्रीम द इंडिविजुअल सोल इज पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ द सुप्रीम and his position is to render transcendental service to the lord this transcendental contact with the stream is called brahma samspara sam sam samsparsha samsparsha self realization means on constitution position relationship with the supreme that is self realization okay how about what is the constitution position i have served to krishna the moment you accept the fact that i am a servant of the lord you become actually very happy the moment you want to imitate the lord you become sad that's all the problem we are having theek hai this individual soul is part and parcel of the supreme just like a finger is part and parcel of the body the business of the finger is to serve the body then the finger is in a natural position correct the finger not declare independence so that is what we are today we are saying i am not servant of god yes then suffer but the moment you accept my original position i am a servant of god you are very happy You are as happy as a lot, but we think no, I'll be independent. Then you suffer. This transcendental contact with the supreme is called Brahma Samsparsha. Okay, so easy it is. Okay, uh, is to render transcendental service to the Lord. See, the truth is actually very simple, and Maya Vadi they avoid the basic truth. How complicated the thing? They are still now studying some pragna, some pragna. <laughs> Got it. Yes, sir. Some Krishna consciousness is so simple, है ना? हैं? Yes, Mata Ji, twenty ninth. Sarvabhutaastam atmanam sarvabhutani chatmani ikshade yoga yuktaatma sarvatra samadarshana. A true yogi observes me in all beings and also sees every being in me. Indeed, the self-realized. man sees me everywhere this is the highest perfection this is a long purport so i just take the main point my main point krishna conscious yogi the perfect seer because he sees krishna supreme personality situated in everyone heart and super soul so he sees like that and the lord is not eternally materially affected by the presence in either dog or a brahmana we are giving perfect horrible association to parmatma horrible what all gandagi sees us doing but he is not affected Just imagine the parmatma so totally transcendent correct we get attracted to so many thing in the world but parmatma get bad association totally transcendent maya cannot touch the lord ha na is it the same shridhara she was trying to come in now you told her what she was able to come No, she was calm, but she could not hear the audio. She has to press on that contact for device audio. That is the main point to tell. That you didn't tell. See, in the bottom, 
there is a thing join audio ah. you you have the number just that picture so by any association of dog or a brahmana person is not affected in all circumstances we should remain servant of the god while in material energy the living entity serves the material senses the spiritual energy serves the supreme lord directly in either case the living entity is servant of god in any position we are servant of god okay we will do till 32 today so there one more portion will get over yes mata ji is it any 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 questions on this situation okay he sees everywhere everything is sees in connection to the lord he sees the lord everywhere all situation is servant of krishna see we have to serve god directly or indirectly directly just like in a kingdom we can follow the civil laws or we are forced to follow the criminal laws the choice is ours so if civil laws are more comfortable criminal laws are more difficult so it is our choice yes ma she there she is inside now our choice actually to follow civil laws or criminal laws hare krishna sunita mata ji welcome so our choice to follow civil laws and criminal laws that's our choice okay so but all the circumstances you are forced to follow the king it is better to follow civil laws so to directly serve the lord voluntarily with happiness that is pleasure forced to serve the lord being dragged by the senses that is not very happy situation so better serve voluntarily and be happy in any condition the living entity servant of god is this point understood Bhumika, I really understand this point. Yes, Prabhu. What you understood? Any circumstances that happens in life, we have to focus uh, more on supreme personality. Now you are the servant of God in any situation. How do you prove? <laughs> Anybody in this world is serving God. How do you prove that? Uh... you understood see i again i yes, no. little tough concept just understand say in a city no. we are all living in city we are not living in jail all of us correct so we yes, are sir. having we, we have to obey the rules of the country there are some rules of the country you have to pay tax in this way you are not supposed to go out of the road after 12 o'clock now correct or no you are not allowed yes, correct sir. so yes, all the rules what our government puts you have to follow if you don't follow they are arresting people is it it and yes, sometimes police is beating them a stick <laughs> we see in the video Uh, so, <laughs> so we yes. are supposed to follow the rules if you do not follow then what will happen they put you inside jail and force you to follow criminal laws and criminal yes. laws are very bad you cannot meet your friend they don't give you mobile and you know, all so many difficulties are there you cannot talk to your friends you cannot go anywhere your restriction is very bad in a jail you know so civil yes, laws are more comfortable than the criminal laws criminal now you cannot have your laptop or mobile there and have video conference zoom they'll not allow you so there yes. are so many restrictions are there so which yes. is better to follow civil laws or criminal laws civil laws probably always better to live in a city than live in a jail now jail. the same way we should understand our own life that i have to follow anyway because i am a servant by nature the soul nature is to obey and follow why not follow krishna voluntarily then follow the criminal laws which are taught yes correct but the jiva means criminal laws senses will drag him karma krodha will take over and harass him and people want to follow that we is another good example is taken hira or khira punishment is same then it's better steal hira <laughs> if you steal say khira in the market kumbhar four year jail if you steal diamond four year jail then better steal diamond is that intelligent <laughs> and that's a joke actually the similar way anyway your servant better serve the lord no why you want to serve your stupid senses what do you get out of that you get no pleasure but serving lord gives you transcendental happiness why not serve god voluntarily correct so just yes, like you have a one hour with you you can sit and chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare mm-hmm. or you now heard bhagavad gita you are serving the lord now by your senses by your ears by your mouth by your eyes you are serving krishna the same time you go to watch a movie then you are the the you are serving maya and that will never make you happy this will actually make you happy so we have to yes. make it nice okay yes. so anyway your servant better serve god that's a point okay this is a very okay. deep point actually if you can get your whole life will become perfect okay chalo
माता जी थ्री मोर श्लोक For one who sees me everywhere and sees everything in me, I am never lost, nor is he ever lost to me. Yeah, so nice. For one who sees me everywhere and sees everything in me, I am never lost, nor is he lost to me. तू मेरा मैं तेरी बोलते हैं ना समथिंग लाइक दैट है ना ही इज नेवर लॉस टू मी एंड आई डोंट लूज हिम दिस इज एक्चुअली वेरी नाइसली एक्सप्लेन इन भागवतम इन द वेरी नाइस व्हेन अंबरीश महाराज इंसिडेंट द दुरासा मिनी मीट्स अ लॉर्ड समथिंग सिमिलर द लॉर्ड सेज डिवोटीज आर इन मी एंड आई एम इन देम uh but in each and every case is conscious of krishna doing everything is a manifestation of krishna's energy ठीक है, a devotee sees in that way, he sees everywhere whatever he sees is Krishna. This is a shloka when he is actually heart is filled with love. Prema and Jana, who knows the shloka? Himalaya Mata, you know the shloka? No, Prabhu, not properly. Manita, Pushpa Mata ji, you know, I think the shloka. Yes, I know, Prabhu. But uh, please ask someone else to recite this. Ah. Please Chalo. ask someone else to recite. Vanita, Vanita, she is asking for you, Vanita, to recite. You know this book, yeah? She is busy, busy now. Two children. Ah. Mega Sha Mata Ji, do you know this book, yeah? Brahma Samhita book, yeah? No, sir. Okay. Ah. Uh, you know the shloka okay here uh, here we have 10 people here i am giving them chance okay you all could hear no here yes prabhu prema jana churita bhakti viloche ne na santa sadaiva hrudaye shloka yanti yama shama sundaram avichinta guna sarupam govinda ma बोलने में एटलीस्ट एक तो आंसू आना चाहिए प्रेम अंजना प्रेमान जना When the eyes are filled with tears, what happens then? You can see Krishna all the time. Santa Sadeva, constantly they see the Lord who look at them. This is a very nice shloka. So when we advance in spiritual life, we come to this position. Prem Anjana. Prabhupada says we have to learn to cry for Krishna, not material things. Cry for Krishna. Prem Anjana. Okay. We cry for so many things. We have to learn to cry for Krishna. Santa Sadeva. Always Hrithi Yash. यम शाम सुंदरम अचिंत गुण स्वरूप गोविंद आदि पुरुषोत्तम सो देन कृष्णा विल नेवर डिसअपीयर फ्रॉम योर साइड व्हेन योर लव लव इज एंड व्हिच आईज एक्चुअली दीस आईज आर द स्पिरिचुअल आईज योर फिजिकल आईज मे हैव टीयर्स और नॉट टीयर्स जस्ट लाइक शिला प्रोपर यू डोंट मेनी टाइम्स इज फिजिकल आईज द वाटर यूज्ड टू कम व्हेन प्रोपर वाज यू सी सो मेनी इंस्टेंसेस प्रोपर द स्ट्रिंग जयराधा माधव इन सम पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड देयर इज अ वाटर वाज कमिंग लाइक सम यू नो फ्रॉम अ पाइप सो मच टीयर्स That's but externally, generally, devotee hides. But in spiritual life, they're always full of love. The love has to come in the spiritual life, not because external life. So, thoda onion garlic laga ke bhi nikal sakta hai koi, hai na? And nahi, not only that, without any actors can take out tears, <laughs> and they can start crying. But uh, a devotee uh, does genuinely. He can see it in the eternal form of Shyam, so situated in the heart of the devotee. At this day, the Lord Krishna never disappears from the sight of the devotee. Nor does the devotee ever lose sight of the Lord. In the case of a yogi who sees Lord Parmatha within the heart, the same applies. She is so loving, so beautiful form of the Lord. So, in one sense, but Ashtanga yogi also is sincere, reaches the same situation. 
Such a yogi turns into a pure devotee and cannot bear to live for a moment without seeing the Lord within himself. So Ashtanga Yogi also ultimately becomes Bhakti Yogi, but mercy of Krishna is in Kali Yoga, you don't have to go to forest. You can sit down, chant Hare Krishna, get the same result. Yes, 31st shloka, Mataji. Sarva Bhuta Sitam Yomam Bhajati Yekatva Mastitaha Sarvata Vartamano Api Sayogi Mai Vartate This is actions of a perfect yogi. The yogi who knows that I and the super soul within all creatures are one worships me and remains always in me in all circumstances. So there are certain big purpose. I'll take some line. Yogi is practicing meditation of the super soul, sees within himself a pretty portion of Krishna as Vishnu with four hand holding conch shell, wheel, club, and lotus flower. That is form is there within your heart. We have to see that. Nikleshavasta Sho Jivan Mukta So Uchate. Everything we see in this world, we use for uh, Krishna's service. Then we are Jivan Mukta. Krishna calls the highest stage of trance in the yoga practice. Prabhupada is declaring. Okay. Continue. 30 second. Atma Pamyena Sarvatra Samam Pashyati Vajna Sukam Vayativa Dukkam Sayogi Paramomataha. He is a perfect yogi who, by comparison to his own self, sees the true equality of all beings, both in their happiness and distress, O Arjuna. All right. So comparison to oneself sees the true equality of all beings, both in their happiness and distress. Very nice. So he is equally seeing. If he something pains him, he knows it pains another person also. Correct? This is the vision of a God. Okay. Now, Arjuna will say, Krishna, that's all very nice to hear, but I cannot do this yoga system. And then the next part of Gita will start. So that we will do tomorrow. <coughs> okay, Anand Gaurav, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, sir. Hare Krishna, Pushra Mataji. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Vanita. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Anvinda Angri Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Bhumika. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hello, welcome. So every day you can join Bhumika, 3 o'clock and then night, there is one more at 9. Very nice if you get time. Otherwise, yes, time is simple. Okay. And oh, then we have Rahul Bhatt. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, sir. Hare Krishna. Uh, spread the word to your other friends also. Hey, did you come yes. with one team from Srinivas had come? You were part of that that day? No, sir. No, you didn't come. Once Hare Krishna, come. sir. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna. So Hare Krishna everybody. Hare Krishna Sunita Mataji. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Manjuna. Okay. okay. We break now. So we will meet next tomorrow. And if you want, you can join other classes also. Okay. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Any question at this point? It's all clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.